Good evening and thanks so much for joining us on your Friday night. I'm Sophie Erber. Tim has the evening off. The state of South Dakota received a presidential disaster proclamation. It's for the historic flooding earlier this summer. KCAU 9 News reporter Alyssa Tatt shares what this news means to residents in the form of new financial aid. It's our top story now at 10. Thanks, Sophie. After nearly two months of waiting, Union County is now officially eligible for individual FEMA assistance. And the residents of McCook Lake and North Sioux City are ready to start that next step of recovery. I saw it last night declared. It was just the biggest sigh of relief knowing that um, we're going to get something. So, you know, FEMA is at least going to come here and do something to help us. I don't know why it took so long for them to do this. I mean, because people need help now. I mean, there's people that don't even have a house. I mean, I'm lucky I have my house, but there's a lot of them that don't. Now that the wait is over, flood impacted North Sioux City residents are ready to receive some federal relief. We're just hoping, you know, to get funds to start over, to move on, to rebuild a new life. And I mean, that's where we're at in this situation. And I'm just praying that this can really help my neighbors who, you know, are able to rebuild, who are able to, you know, that they can be compensated to do so, to, you know, rebuild their homes and carry on with their lives. Those that have begun reconstruction on their homes are encouraged to apply as the repairs will not affect what assistance they can receive. We just tell them again, keep all their receipts, document everything. And we understand that everyone's recovery from this flooding disaster will be different. We recommend that the, the survivors in those counties, they apply through FEMA for assistance as soon as possible. Now that the disaster declaration wait is over, the next step may require even more patience. There's no real time frame when people will have, will receive that FEMA assistance. First step in is applying for assistance and getting all the proper information that FEMA will need for their application. Because not having the proper documentation is one of the big factors that delay survivors from receiving their assistance in a, in a timely manner. For more information on how to apply for FEMA, visit SiouxLandProud.com. From North Sioux City, Alyssa Tatch, KCAU 9 News.